Now that we have all the brackets installed, it's time to put the strap kit on and mount our tools. I just want to take a minute to talk about the quality of these parts. Um, this canvas strap is uh, nice and stiff. The uh, stitching on it looks really good. I like the black finish on the buckle and the straps are finished with a nice um, copper hammer on finishing end makes them a great addition to a jeep the kit comes with all three of the pieces that you need for your pioneer tool kit now would be a great time to take everything apart and paint it the way you want if you remember in the earlier part of the video we left everything finger tight and now you're going to see why. So we'll remove one screw from this footman loop. Make sure the, the remaining screw is loose enough that there's wiggle room around it. You're going to take this shorter strap in your kit. Um, sometimes they're really stiff and you are going to have to squeeze that to make a little opening. And pass that down through that footman loop. And if you notice, um, this is the smooth side so it doesn't have this little flap that goes towards the body and the buckle is facing out from the tub. Once that's on there, reinstall your hardware. You can push this out of so the way for now. We're gonna move up to the top loop and same thing. Just remove one of the screws, keeping the other one loose. And now we're gonna take the larger, longer bracket that came with your kit. See how tight that is? So just give it a squeeze like that and make space for the loop slide it through so the buckle is on top facing out and reinstall your screw and the last but not least is the much longer strap that has no buckle on it that is the forward shovel strap feed it through install your screw and notice I have the smooth side facing outward again. So the back side with the flap here towards the vehicle. Now for the fun part. All our hard work is paying off. So I'll take my axe, turn it, pass it through, pull the bracket down, kind of get the steps out of the way, and stick it up in there. Pull the bracket up nice and tight. This one's pretty straightforward. Uh, this is the correct sequence and routing of the straps. So the axe goes on first, pass it through the bracket. So if you notice there are uh, some teeth in here, so you'll push that up, pass it through there. You're going to pull downward and that pressure pulls the teeth down and it will engage them into the strap. These will work better. As you use them, they'll kind of get broken in. So then you're left with this tab, and you want to make sure that you pass that up through just like that. That's how the axe is installed. Moving on to the shovel. So you just take your shovel and guide it into the front bracket. We're on to the last strap and the final step of installing your Pioneer tools. You're probably looking at this thinking, how does one strap in front of the handle keep pressure forward? So remember, this has to be um, having pressure forward on it at all times or it will fall out of the front bracket. So uh, it'll all make sense. So what we want to do is pull this strap through the handle, just like that. Then we're going to wrap it around and if you can see that I'm going passing it under that strap in the same footman loop and pulling it tight like that so that's the key right there as you're doing it try to kind of keep it in the center and pull it nice and tight then we're going to overlap so if you see I'm coming back this way and feeding it through that short rear strap whoops bumped the camera so now we pull everything tight. And as I'm pulling, it's actually cinch cinching the shovel forward. Then we take our tail strap, the leftovers, and pass it back through the buckle. Should be able to let go of that and keep it tight now. And any extra, I pass back through that footman loop and kind of behind everything. So once you get it together, that's what it looks like.
I want to do this for you one more time from the top so you really get a good view and idea how it's done. So through the handle, make sure you don't get any twists in your strap, behind the footman loop, back around the front, pull it nice and tight, feed it through the buckle. Try to keep it lined up so it overlaps perfectly. Cinch it tight. Feed the tail back through the buckle. And any excess go behind the axe strap. There it is. Great job. You just successfully installed Pioneer Tools on your Willys MB or Ford GPW. There'll be a link in the description and on the screen to another video um, that will show how to install this axe sheath on your tub if it doesn't already have one.